We've been stranded for weeks on an island with no way off, but recently a potential way off the island appeared at our campsite and now I have so many questions. Where did this boat come from? Will there be more? Is this how we get off the island finally? Let's see what questions we can get answered today. With this boat now sitting at our campsite, this changes things. I have to wonder if this showing up kind of gives us hope that maybe we will be able to get off these islands pretty soon here, but maybe some of the other girls know how this boat got here, so I say we go talk to some of the other girls. But before we go talk to some of the other girls, I want to work on building up something that I've been desperately needing on our island, and I'm gonna let you guys take a wild guess on what you think that could be. If you guessed a storage room, you're absolutely right. And I was thinking of putting our little storage build right up over in this area right here. I think this would be a great section to put a storage build. But in order to do that, we need to clear out some of these trees, get this uh, land a little bit more terraformed. So let's start clearing out trees, leveling the ground, and then we'll grab some building supplies. All right, we have cleared out enough space that I think will be great for having our little storage build. So let's take a nap because it is night, grab some building blocks and start building this up. A good night of sleep always helps with building, right? The next morning, Brooke decided to stop by for a visit to drop off a cute little pumpkin and apple pie gift. The apple pie actually gave me some speed boost, which was super fun to run around my patio with. As we were talking, I asked Brooke if she knew about the boat on the center island, and she did know. Brooke explained that as some of the girls were at Sparkle's Tiki Bar the other day getting drinks, a stranger actually paddled by in that very boat. And after talking with this interesting stranger, they ended up giving Brooke and the girls her boat, and she flew off on her elytra. So that answers my question of how the boat got here and lets us know that maybe if we go far enough away, we can find a way off these islands finally. So Brooke and I decided we wanted to take the boat out for our own adventure to see what else was out there. And after Brooke pointed out the direction that Sparkle and Drift had already gone, we picked our direction and headed off on a new adventure, unsure of what we would find or who we would meet. Oh wait, do you see these trees over in the distance? These really tall the spiky ones? The big red ones? ones? Yeah, they look cool. Yeah. Let's go there. Whoa. Oh, there's new flowers. Look at all of these. Oh my gosh, these are cute. Coven. What are these? Coven, and yeah. Pink coven. Crocus. After we spent some time collecting a bunch of new modded flowers and collecting some of the saplings and wood from this red forest, we kept exploring around the area until we noticed a giant mushroom structure in the distance. So of course we went to go investigate. What could go wrong? Right? As we explored, we found the houses were filled with cute little blocks. However, the residents of this place were not cute and cozy. There were spawners with mushroom piglins riding cows that hit super hard, groups of mushroom piglins spilling out of windows to attack us that it kind of seemed overwhelming at first. But the more we fought and killed more of these enemies, my confidence level grew and I may have gotten more reckless with my attacks and well, you can see how well that worked. Oh no! Oh no! Well. First death not on the <laughs> island. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. No, oh. let me put my armor on. Come on. <laughs> it's okay. I just want my armor. And I really didn't learn from the first death either. I'm just really glad that we had the thought to bring the bed to reset our spawns. Otherwise, that would have been interesting. After a few more deaths, most of them being mine, Brooke discovered the strange room at the top of the mushroom. So I went to go investigate with her. It's kind of like a little church or something. And oh, then there's gosh. this. If you walk with the fungus, you'll never be out of spores. 
Yeah, a mushroom cult? We both thought that was pretty weird. After we looted through the mushroom camp, it was time for us to grab the bed and boat because we wanted to go and collect some of the spruce saplings from the taiga biome we saw. So off we went on to the next part of our adventure to get the sacred spruce. Now you might be kind of confused why we're getting some spruce when Sev already has spruce. Well, Sev has a orange leaved modded spruce tree, which can't make those mega trees. So these vanilla ones can do that, allowing us to get spruce faster. Once we got to the taiga forest, we spent some time breaking leaves so that we could collectively get at least four saplings so that we can make those mega trees. Then once we had the saplings, we hopped back in our boat and Brooke boated us all the way back to our island. Well, at least now we know what's lurking outside and it's, it's mostly danger. Yeah, no kidding. After talking a bit longer about our adventures, we decided it was time to go home after that adventure we just had and get a good night of sleep. Well, that was quite the adventure we had with Brooke. I already put away a lot of the loot that I was able to grab. However, I did lose some of it because, well, I, it probably despawned from me dying so many times. But I think one of the reasons I was dying so much was actually because my helmet and my leggings broke at some point. So it wasn't just fully being me reckless. It was also me uh, not being uh, equipped with the correct armor. So we'll have to fix that issue up a little bit later. However, I want to first pass off the giant stomper boots to Drift, and I accidentally got Brooke's scaffolding in my inventory, so we're gonna go pay Drift a visit and then visit Brooke's house. Let's see, I feel like let's put this right by her little fishing stool here. I think she'll probably come out here to do some fishing later on. So let's put the boots in there. I also added mending to them because they might break between the few of us sharing them. Add a sign. I bestow upon the sister the traveling giant stompers. Perfect. Hopefully giving these to Drift isn't a mistake, but you know, I feel like because she's been wearing those socks and sandals this whole time that, you know, giving her some other shoes to wear instead uh, might be kind of helpful. You know, let the feetsies breathe and all that. But we'll just let this be, and now let's go over to Brooke's area. Okay, here we are at Brooke's cute little house, and let's put her scaffolding... Maybe like right here. I feel like this is good. And we'll leave her little sign. I had her scaffolding after our adventure, returning it. Red. And now we go back to our house to start collecting resources and building up our storage house. Oh, oh, hello, sir. No, not okay. Rude. Back at our house, we collected up a variety of materials we would be building with and grabbed and set up all the crafting benches we would need. And then we dropped off our starting materials and bone mealed the spruce saplings we got from our adventure with Brooke and got to chopping. All right, I have made a little path leading up to where our build will be. And then I also set up a general layout of what the build is gonna look like. It's just a 13 by 11 and then five blocks high. We'll have our main level, we'll have a second level. And then with the roof, it will kind of give us a little attic space. And now that you know kind of what the build is going to look like, it is time to start working on this and building it up. Enjoy the time-lapse. Next, we moved in all our crafting benches, set up our kitchen with everything we'll need, including a pot, skillet, and some barrel. We added some supports and edging to the outside, added all our chests into the storage room, and spent time adding in some cozy decor around the inside of the build and some leaves, lattices, and lanterns to the outside. The final touches to the build were adding in some modded white stained glass, and since our roof is made of moss, we bone mealed the roof, and we also added in a few flowers here and there. 
All right, guys, our storage build is done. I made this cute little path leading all the way up to our storage build, and I think this is probably one of my favorite builds that I've made so far on Castaways. I love this so much. It's so pretty and cozy, the lattice with the leaves. In free cam, we can get more of an aerial view of what we got from the outside. We've just got little windows on the attic level, which you can kind of see inside. I love all of the lattice and the flowers, the mossy roof. The sides just have some lanterns. You can see our glass, but that's pretty much what the outside looks like all the way around. But let's take a peek inside, close our door. And here's what it looks like on the inside. We've got our little entryway with some books, a little barrel and a potted plant. And over here, we've got our little kitchen with our barrels for food. We've got our little pot and pan on the stove and something super cool I wanted to show you guys was you can actually cook things inside the little skillet. I think it's so cute. And then with this pot here, we can also make a soup. So I wanted to put the ingredients in here and we can make a soup together. So it takes a bit of time, but here we go. We're making this chicken soup. And I think we're gonna get some cool, yes, comfort is the advancement that we get for this. Since I'm not hungry yet, we will save our snack for a little bit later and continue our tour. From the kitchen, we come over to our work area over here with all our chipped benches. We've got a crafting table and our stone cutter, and we've got some barrels over here. And this is just kind of our like entry foyer way with some more books potted plants, lanterns, picture frames, vines. I love it. And coming up the stairs, we've got some paintings on the wall. We've got a little crafting area and some books and paintings, but this is our actual storage level. And these are all double chests on both sides. And I think this will be a much, much nicer to get all of our storage. And you'll notice above me that I have a really cool little feature. So let's go upstairs and take a closer look. Now in modded, you can make these ropes. And if we combine a bunch of the ropes together, you get this safety net and it kind of lets you bounce a little bit, but this is kind of like a floor trampoline thing, but I just thought it was so cool. But this is what our upstairs looks like. This is kind of our like sitting, reading, cozy nook. We've got these little chairs, we've got some dark oak benches, we've got some pillow cushions you can sit on, and you can literally just sit and look outside and have a nice little view. And I think they're super cute. You can come to the other side and sit on one of the benches and have the same kind of view from the other side facing Sev's area. This upstairs area is definitely my favorite. We've got the modded stained glass, lots of bookshelves that are modded, picture frames, potted plants. I think this is so, so cozy. We've got beams hanging from the top and I even hid a crafting table that is the willow wood crafting table. So it's green and blends right in. But this is what we have for our storage room. And now I have to do the task of moving everything over, but I'm gonna do that in some off camera time. And now that we've got some hunger, we're gonna eat our chicken noodle soup and see, <gasps> look at that. We get the advancement comforting and we have uh, five minutes of comfort. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.